Now if I told you my story, would you understand? Or would you just turn away like I'm a homeless man? Mommy saying, what if music fails, you need another plan? I'm just trying to hold it together like a rubber band. Cause see, I'm constantly hearing about how people change. But I got dreams that's bigger than women and fame. Not to mention, I got these goals that I gotta obtain. What is up viewers, trolls and haters, this is Pat here, and today I want to talk about fake friends, and this is kind of a response to Ghost X Pro calls uh, fake friends, I think I'm a little bit behind, it's been a while since I did a commentary, but uh, nevertheless, I kind of want to get this out of the way, I'm not friends with Ghost X Pro call, I don't dislike him, I don't like him either, I really don't like the way he advertises his videos or networks and stuff, and everything I said in my past videos... I do not take it back, I still 100% believe everything that I said in my past videos, so I'm just getting this clear, he's a neutral guy, I don't dislike him, nor do I like him, so I'm just getting that out of the way, this is not a suck up video in any sort of way. So even though I don't think he's the greatest commentator in the world, I do, I really did like his fake, fake friends video, because it had a lot of truth behind it, and I can't deny him of that. So anyway, let's get started. Um about fake friends and I just kind of want to give you guys a premise of what fake friends are is pretty much friends that either use you don't care about you or just there to pretty much manipulate you and I guess use you again you know and you find these people a lot cuz ghost X pro call I'm just going to call him ghost whatever I, I don't really care I don't like saying that huge name so anyway he was talking about um how people were adding him back once he got his partnership and you know what I can see that I can see a lot of people, you know, they, they would dislike videos and stuff, and I'll have another commentary about people disliking videos, which I think is just wrong. But anyway, so I can see that a lot. When people don't like you, you know, when you're when you're a nobody or pretty, I guess everybody that doesn't have a partnership, I guess you can maybe kind of categorize them as a nobody if you really want to. So once he got his partnership, everybody started adding him back, and I can see that a lot because a lot of people are leeches, and I... I don't like to call, I don't want to call out a lot of people because I don't have all their names listed. I don't really want to list them either. But there's a lot of people that leech off me and leech off other commentators and stuff. You'd be like, what? how did it leech off you? You know, you only have like 200 subs and stuff. You you know, you're just an average commentator. And I'm like, yes, but people stoop down to that level and use other people. And it's, I just find it funny that like, fake friends are pretty much people that you don't get into phone calls with you don't associate in any type of way with them you're just kind of you know you, they're just there to pretty much make a profit out of you if you want to say profit in any type of way but um yeah so friends like I'm just going to talk about real friends because I don't like talking about fake friends I it get, kind of gets me depressed but anyway so Real friends are the people that won't ask you for shoutouts. Real friends aren't the people that will like like give you a bunch of links saying, well, check out this video, man, I really want you to see it. Real friends will go check out your video. They're sub to you. They're going to watch your video nevertheless. You don't have to ask them. Real friends, they get into calls with you. You don't have to call them. You don't have to start the conversation with them in order to get the ball running. They call you, and you know, you have a good time. You could talk to them whenever. Uh, real friends aren't the people that you can start a conversation with and then it gets awkward and you just stop it. Real friends are the people that you can continuously talk to for hours on end if you really ch so choose, you know? And it's just, I just find it funny that a lot of people nowadays, they just leech uh, so much, so many leeches on YouTube. They, they pretend to be your friends. And sometimes, I want to talk about this in more commentaries later about trolls and dislike, uh, people that dislike videos, but... A lot of the times, people that dislike your videos, the, like the majority of people that dislike your videos are your so-called quote-unquote friends. And I have, I don't get a lot of dislikes, but when I do, I know who they are. You know, they're not just random people that dislike videos and stuff. Like, I really don't see the point of disliking, but you know, it's most of the time my, my friends that dislike my video. If they're jealous of my success, even though I don't, I'm not really that successful in my eyes. But, you know, if they're jealous of anything, that's what, that's what these so-called fake friends do. They don't care about you. They're just using you, and then the moment... You get bigger than them, or the moment that you become successful, they want to like join up with you. You know, they they were just saying, oh, "Dude, I hate your videos, man. Just just stop making videos." You know, I hate the series that you're doing and stuff. And then the moment I get, or no, that's not just about me. I'm just saying in general, the moment you get, uh, you know, serious about something, or the moment you get uh, like a bit of success. In this case, Ghost Protocol was a partnership. They come back towards you and just start with all this BS, saying, "Dude, man, I was just kidding." And it's just like, no, no, you weren't. You're just coming back because now I'm successful and now you want a part of that also. So don't BS me like that. It's just, I don't know. 
I think I need to make a longer commentary about this, but I got my main points across. So yeah. <sighs> yep. As always, stay happy in Palatown. Peace out.